What is a small intestine neuroendocrine or carcinoid tumor? Your small intestine is over 20 feet or 6 meters long. And the last segment of small intestine, before it becomes a large intestine, is called the ileum. The ileum is a place where most small intestine neuroendocrine tumors arise. So maybe they should be called ileum neuroendocrine tumors. Ileum neuroendocrine tumors are slow growing cancers or cancers in slow motion. So most patients have them for many years before they even know it. By the time they're diagnosed, the tumor has usually already spread to the lymph nodes or the liver. When they're spread to the liver, the tumors can release chemicals into the blood, causing flushing and diarrhea. When this happens, it is called the carcinoid syndrome. There's something very unique there are often more than one tumor in the ileum. We call them multifocal primary tumors. And each of these primary tumors can spread or metastasize. When they're spread to the lymph nodes, they form a mesenteric mass, a solid ball of tissue that is much bigger than the primary tumors. The mesenteric mass often causes problems for patients. It buckles the intestine, causing blockage, so patients lose weight and may experience nausea, abdominal cramping, or diarrhea. The mesenteric mass may also choke off the blood supply to the intestine, causing pain, especially when eating. There is good news. There are many durable treatment options for patients with ileum neurocon tumors, even for those who have disease that has spread or metastasized. So if you or someone you know is found to have one, Seek out an expert in small intestine neuroendocrine tumors.